Hey guys. How are you? I'm good, Robbie. How are you? Try to be serious. See, I started cooking at a really young age. I was I was six when I was cooking with my mother. Yeah, so I would wake up Sunday mornings with her and we would make pasta, like fresh pasta, and we'd make lasagna, we would make um, these little, what I, what I remember from my mother's cooking was these little rolls of veal and stuff with uh, parsley, parmesan cheese, salt and pepper, and we called them vrajola. But yeah, I started when I was six years old and just cooked and cooked and cooked as I got older and I started, I liked it and it was fun to do and um, I would cook dinner for my family. My mother was at work, I'd come home and get dinner ready for them and stuff like that. And, uh. So I got two cucumber, two peppers. Yeah, I got the cucumbers. My, par my parents are from Italy. They came from, uh, my parents are from a, a part of Italy called Puglia, uh, a little, little village called Anzano. Um, they're both from the same village, actually. Uh, my father came here in the 50s. Uh, my mom followed in the 60s. I forgot tomatoes. It's okay. You want to go? Yep, let's go. Cooking-wise in school, I, I took a little bit in high school, what they offered, but there wasn't really a great deal. But um, in college, I, I took a little bit more in, at George Brown and stuff. And, and then working around and stuff like that. And then I finished my I finished my studies in Italy. The restaurant I was working at at the time, um, the owner, um, she pu she pushed me very hard to uh, to do this, which I I thanked her for afterwards because at first I didn't want to do it. I didn't feel um, I wanted to go to Italy. But then after once the idea entered my head and I it started to stew a little bit, I thought, yeah, this could this could be good. So uh, I was in Italy for almost a year. What made me come back to Toronto? There, there is no city like Toronto, I, I don't think. Um, the only city I would find close to Toronto would be New York. It is my favorite. Um, just with what we have and the multiculturalism that's here and all the, all the wonderful little pockets in our city that we have. I knew I was ready to open a new re uh, a restaurant for myself and uh, further my career and, you know, and showcase my food and, and what I wanted to do and not what you know, the owner of the restaurant wanted to do. And, and this way, you know, I could have a little bit more freedom and, you know, and create my own dishes. Did you say yes, you had a, a case for me? People that have already been living in the neighborhood for some time have been waiting for a restaurant like this to open up and you know something that's not too pricey and something that's not too informal. Um, we have a very casual lunch and uh, we have you know we, 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 we try really hard to give our customers great service, great food at a great price. We're always designing new foods, new dishes. I have a great team in the kitchen that constantly comes up with great ideas and, and you know I love to you know take their ideas and, and incorporate them into the menu when I can and you know as long as it reflects you know what we do here at the restaurant I, I think it's we're, we're, we are a team pretty much when we're in the kitchen we're working together we are a team uh, but after work we're, we're more like a family and even when we talk to each other um, we talk to each other like we're brothers and sisters and you know and mom and dad and the whole thing. <laughs> It's just nice to see that consistency with all of the staff. No matter whether they're working lunch, brunch, or dinner, there's always that consistency there, which is, which is really, really important to me.
I find when I'm cooking, it's 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 very automatic for me, and when I'm preparing something, and I know that you know it needs a little bit of, a little bit more herbs in it and something, but it, it's coming from my heart when I cook. It's not something that you know I'm forced to do. It's something I like to do. So when it's something you like to do, it's not boom, boom, boom. It's, you know, a lot of thought goes into little things and little flavors and this could use a little bit more of that, this could use a little bit more of this. And, uh, and, and the flavors just come out and then it's, my, my satisfaction is watching the plates go back to, back to the kitchen, back to the dish area and they're clean. And, you know, and hearing what my staff has to say about people that really liked what they had and, and it's, it's nice to see clean plates come back. What I've done here is I managed, I think, all of those things that I've wanted to conquer, and, now, and, and those are, you know, good food, good prices, good atmosphere, you know, great service. All of those things are, are, are something that we strive to get better and better on, and I think, I think we've done that. Yeah.